Hey guys, it's Bunny. Back to do the next two little cubbies in the bookshelf tour. This is the last two cubbies in the middle grade section. So in in the last two cubbies on the top row, we've got Gaiman, we've got the Sweep series by Kate Tiernan, and we've got Harry Potter. First cubby, we've got some Neil Gaiman. The first book in the series is A Nancy Boys. I have not read this one I started flipping through it and then we ended up going somewhere for the weekend and then when I came back I just never picked it back up so I don't know if it's any good or not I have Coraline but there are so many versions of the book I just got this one because I liked the jacket out the best but there are so many different um covers that you can get on this. It's been reprinted so many times. I love it. I think it's a great book. I love the movie. I thought it was excellent. And then there's the Graveyard Book. This is one of my favorite books. I've actually had to buy this three or four times because I've went to get it to loan to somebody and then it already be gone. I don't know if my kids were taking it to school and leaving it or what, but I think this is like the fourth or fifth um one that I've bought. Isn't it pretty? Love it. Love it! It's about a kid and his family ends up getting murdered and he escapes and ends up in a cemetery and then he gets raised by the ghosts of that cemetery. It's It sounds crazy, but it's really good. Um, two, if you... You can actually listen to Neil Gaiman read the entire book if you go to... I think it's mousecircus.com and there are like video clips. He did a book tour and at each place on the tour he would read like another chapter out of the book and all of the clips are up on that website. I'm pretty sure it's called mousecircus.com. Um, this is all the Sweep series. I actually had picked these up I think um, on Free Cycle and as you can see, they're totally different than the other. These, we have a used bookstore in town, that, but it's almost like never open. The little old lady that runs it, I swear, looks like a witch. Like, teeth missing, hooked nose. If you think fairy tale witch, and I swear that is what this woman looks like. And the funny thing is, is she's the sweetest little old lady you'd ever talk to in your life. And all she cares about is books. <laughs> But anyway, so I had gotten these, and then um, one day I was leaving the post office and noticed that the used bookstore was open. Like I said, it's almost like never open. And uh, so I ran in there, and she had these in a box, and I ended up getting the whole set for like, I don't know, 8 or $9. It wasn't very much. She was just glad I was to have somebody in the store. So... Um, I picked up, I had the entire set, and then I've loaned the set out two or three times already, and I, I just noticed when I was rearranging that I am missing book one, so somewhere along the way, and I think my, my one of my friends that borrowed them last time brought them back and said she thought book one was missing, so someone, one of the first two people I loaned them to obviously kept a book, so I'm going to have to come up with book one again, but I like these covers better because they're bigger, so I think I'm going to try to rebuy it and get it in these covers. I, I know that sounds weird since I've already got it in those covers, but I just I like this size better. I like the look of the cover better. Um, in this cover, I have books 8, 9, and 15. Book 8 is called Changeling. Book 9 is called Strife. And book 15 is called The Night's Child. And then I'll show you the other ones too. And then this is the one that I had the whole set in. Book 2 is called The Coven. Book 3, The Blood Witch. 4, Dark Magic. Five, Awakening. Six is Spellbound. Seven is The Calling. Eight 
8 is the changeling. Uh, nine is strive. Ten, seeker. Uh oh, I just knocked somebody off in the back. Eleven, origins. Twelve, eclipse. Thirteen, reckoning. Fourteen, full circle. And then they did a... And then they did a special edition. Um, I think it's like two books in one. Special edition, The Knight's Child. And then I think there's one more special edition that I don't have. So what do you think? Do you like the bigger covers better or the smaller? I don't really like... I'm not a big paperback fan because the the more you flip through them, they, they just don't hold up very well. They're small. I don't like that they're small. Um, when I was in high school and worked at a bookstore, this size paperback was not actually that common. These were called trade size whenever um, I worked at a bookstore. These were like special editions. You could, you really didn't get paperbacks in this size. And I notice now, like especially in YA, like this is the standard. Hardback's really not even the standard in the YA genre. These larger trade size paperbacks are. And I actually, I don't mind these so much just because they're bigger. They seem to take opening, you know, they take the, the usage doesn't wear as bad on the spines. So I don't mind these that much. And I, I prefer because they are bigger. So I think I'm going to get the whole series in these. But what do you think? Did you like the bigger covers better or the smaller covers? I don't know. I guess that'll be the question of the day for today's video. Which kind of cover do you prefer? Personally, I prefer hardback. And the last cubby, which you've all seen these books a hundred billion times probably. Let me get the camera better. Can you see? Harry Potter <coughs> um, book one the Sorcerer's Stone Can you see that? yeah sorry I've got you on a tripod and I'm not um, sitting behind it so I really can't see what you see unless I move and look which I'm sure like you guys have seen the Harry Potter books this is nothing new to you Book two, The Chamber of Secrets. Actually, I think I have three or four copies of this. Since I buy used, I'm always looking for a better, a better copy of what I've got. Isn't that pretty? I love the red with the purple and green. I just think it's pretty. It's pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's pretty. Book three, The Prisoner of Azkaban. I like the green foil on that purple. I think it's pretty. But that would look so pretty on the shelf without a jacket. But I'm a jacket whore. I like jackets. I like pretty pictures. Shoo, I need to dust this cubby better. Book four, Goblet of Fire. This, I guess, is a different run because you can see the books, the heart, the hardcover is not too toned like the other ones are. It's also not the same height, so I guess I need to replace that. Uh -huh. The Order of the Phoenix. And uh, before you all ask, I'll just admit it up front. I've not read these. I read the first one um, to make sure it would be acceptable. My son wanted them when he was, you know, when they were first coming out. So I read the first one because all these people were having a fit, not wanting them in the school library, and it's witchcraft, and we're all going to go to hell and all that. So 
by the way, I live in Kentucky. Where I live in Kentucky is considered like the heart of the Bible Belt of Kentucky. People, everything here is going to make you go to hell. I am not even kidding. You wear the wrong shoes and people are looking at you funny. And at one point, there was a big, people were pulling their kids out of school because these books was in the library. And I just thought it was, I, mean, I thought it was funny. And then I thought it was sad. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. <clears throat> pretty too black on purple pretty pretty did I even hold that where you can see it I'm sorry I forget to look in the um, little thing on this camera this is not my webcam by the way this is a it's called it's like a flip it's called a Vado I need to replace this one too this I had I had it and then I lost it so I rebought it and the one I bought said it was like new and it came and it had library stickers on it. And it, obviously it's got a library cover on it. Can't show you the front of the cover without tearing up the book. So I need to replace this one. That's the top. That's everything I consider to be middle grade that's upstairs. Um, the kids have tons of stuff in their rooms. But their rooms, I'll straighten their bookshelves about once a year and it lasts about two days. So, we're not going to go through their book. I've been posting a link down in the description thing down at, below um, of the shelf on Goodreads where I have listed the kids' book. I think there's like maybe 300 books on that shelf. Um, you're welcome to browse my shelves on Goodreads if you are interested. It's kids' books and middle grade, I think, is what's on that shelf. And that's what's in the kids' rooms. Because they're just now getting to, like, the Aragon level, Ink Spell that level my son is um 15 fixing to be 16 the types of books he likes to read are not types of books i would buy he likes the the comics and the manga and and all of that and i i just have no desire to buy that i buy it for him but I, it's not something that i have in my library and my daughter is fifth grade but she's reading on a seventh or eighth grade level it just seems like we went from children's books skipped right over the younger middle grade and now we're in middle grade ya i mean she does still like the judy bloom and dear dumb diary and that but she reads that stuff in like an hour so i'm just pleased to spend she loves the ink cart series so if you guys have any recommendations books on that reading level say ink say ink cart i don't know she did not she doesn't care she didn't like lemony snicket which i just think is odd she has no desire to read harry potter so i don't know we're just at a really weird stage for her where her reading level is way more advanced than what her interest level is so i feel like i'm stuck but like i said she's in fifth grade reading on like a seventh eighth grade level so if you guys have any recommendations whatsoever feel free to put them down below i will be forever grateful but that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See ya.